Hi, this is Lucy from Lucy's Corsetry, and I am here in Austin, Texas at the Thomas Trends headquarters. In this video, I'm going to discuss the differences in the length and fit between the long cut underbust, the standard length underbust, and the waist cincher. Right now, I'm wearing the Hourglass Silhouette Long Cut Underbust. This has a center front length of 13 inches, and at the princess seam here, from under the breast to the top of the lap, is 11 inches. So if you want to sit down comfortably in this corset, your torso length should also be at least 11 inches. This corset also features side adjustable hip ties, which can be expanded to comfort. So the high hip spring in this corset is 7 inches, and the low hip spring is 12 inches when the hip ties are completely closed. But if you are more of a pear shape and you need a little bit more space in the hips, you can easily undo the bow and expand the hip ties to comfort. The rib spring of this long line underbust is the same as the standard length underbust in that it is 6.5 inches of spring. So I'm wearing a size 24 right now, so the underbust measures 30.5 inches. The long cut underbust also features a center point which contours under the bust. And now I'm wearing the Hourglass Silhouette Standard Length Underbust. It is a little bit shorter on both the top and the bottom compared to the long line. This one is 11.5 inches in the center front, and at the princess seam it is closer to 9.5 inches. So it's about half an inch shorter than the long line at the top edge, and about one inch shorter at the bottom edge. So if you want to be able to sit down comfortably in this corset, your torso length should be between 9 and 9.5 and inches. The rib spring of the standard length underbust is the same as the long line in that it is 6.5 inches larger than the waist. So again, this is a size 24. This means that the rib cage would be 30.5 inches. However, the hip spring of the standard length corset is slightly larger than the hip spring of the long line. So the high hip here is actually a 10 inch hip spring, whereas the long line had more of a seven inch hip spring at the iliac crest. While the top edge of the standard length underbust still contours underneath the bust line, it is more of a gentle curve as opposed to a very defined point. Now I'm wearing the Hourglass Silhouette Waist Center over top of the standard length underbust and also the long line, so you can see the difference in the height between all of them. You'll also notice that I switched to the white cotton uh, standard length underbust so that you can see the black waist center a little bit more clearly. The center front length of the waist center is 8 and 1 quarter inches, and the princess seam length is 6.5 inches. So this is suitable for even short torsos or people who are of short stature. The proportions of the waist center are slightly different compared to the standard length and the long line underbusts. The rib spring of the waist center is 4 inches, and the high hip spring is 7 inches. So in a size 24 corset, for example, the rib cage would measure 28 inches, while the high hip at the iliac crest would measure 31 inches. Comparing the shapes of the lace and gap in the back, you can see that both the long line and the standard length underbust are laced fairly parallel on me. But the waist cincher has a slight V-shaped gap in the back, and this is because it has a smaller rib spring compared to the other two. You'll also notice that the contouring under the bust has been completely removed in the waist cincher, so it's cut straight across under the bust. However, at the lower edge, it still has a gentle point, so that it covers a little bit more of the lower tummy. If you have any further questions about the lengths and the differences between the three different types of courses on me right now, feel free to contact Timeless Trends. You can reach them on their contact page where you can find their phone number and their email address.